What's up, girl gang? Welcome to the Inner Sanctum. I'm your guru. Come on in, sit, stay, relax, put your feet up, grab a couple snacks, have yourself a cool beverage, your choice, your prerogative. My sanctum is your sanctum. And enjoy my reaction to episode 11 of the HBO Max series DC's Doom Patrol. And this episode is titled Francis Patrol. So I guess I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it's dealing with... Um, with uh, Larry Trainer, Negative Man's Old Flame. So let's not waste any time and get into the reaction part itself. Before we do, if you enjoyed any of my content, whether it be from my Inner Sanctum channel or uh, YG Anime channel for all things anime, link is right up there. Check that out. Help support that channel as you're supporting this channel, the Inner Sanctum channel. And like I said, if you enjoyed either content for your channel, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe and hit that notification bell in order to be notified of any future videos being posted on either channel. And when it comes to my full-length reaction of this um, of this episode, I posted on my Patreon, and that link, along with my social media links, posted underneath this video in the description section. And uh, with that said, let's get into episode number eleven of um, HBO Max series um, DC's Doom Patrol. All right. With title episode, Francis Patrol. All right, here we go. Motor Lodge, Big Sur. Oh, starting off with Larry. Flashback? Open up. Captain Trainer, are you in there? Who wants to know? Military police. Uh-oh. Keep your hands where I can see them. Oh, okay. You asshole. <laughs> How'd you go in there? Now you want to tell me what the hell this is? Do we care? Hell no. <laughs> hmm. All right. To us. And whatever the hell this is. To whatever the hell this is. Larry seems so happy. Yet I'm sensing he's uncomfortable and no. not uh, so really fully coming the out. Truck, that made sense. Well, that was our place. But this, we've never been here. I used to drive by this place when I was going up the coast. And I told myself, someday, I'm going to go there with John Bowers. I guess today is someday. So this is how you want it. <laughs> Are you happy now? So who's Francis? Because I love you. No. Oh, said it out loud. <laughs> you know, I always wanted to Oh. So it was a, a dream of sorts. So that's what happened while he was out. Larry. Are you okay, Larry? No, he isn't. Dealing with his own issues, coming out. In other bizarro news, Florida man Bump Weathers was massacred by a giant Ooh. alligator this weekend and died in a tragic accident. This accident. rival. Locals say that Weathers Bar, Salty Box, is the hub of Cypressville. And he shall be missed. Uh-oh. Bump is survived by his daughter. Some tells me he's going to that a place. Is Jane all right? I once took a respite at Rock Haven Sanitarium in Glendale. But Marilyn Rita Rose trying to help. Your point. <laughs> it's essential to rest the mind. Is that what you think I was doing? Resting my mind. What I'm trying to do now is stay out of my head and find the chief. Which is why I called a team meeting! Hello? Jane called this meeting? Yes. Jane call meeting. Oh, alright, that's new. Right, where's <laughs> Vic and Larry? Alright. What's Vic up to? Kind of hey, like I have yeah. that War Games vibe. That old 80s movie starring Matthew Broderick. Probably because I removed your operating system from my body, big guy. Oh, he's talking to his system. Maybe it's because you're still rebooting. Ever since we hit SOS and my arm regenerated, I've never felt so good. Do you want to play a game? <laughs> LOL. I'm Fun? I think dangerous is more like it. He's 63% cyborg. Ooh. But I don't see any more cybernetic growth. Grip, please confirm. Any 
He doesn't like that news. He doesn't like it at all. Dear Chief, <laughs> sorry we never found you. Oh no, we got a clue from a teleporting gender queer street. <laughs> Based on Rita's description, we are now looking for, and I quote, a hunky fellow signed the fucking totally useless Doom Patrol. Hmm. We're not the Doom Patrol. God, no. The hero of the beach is Flex Mentallo. That's right. Flex Mentallo. How did you know that? Look at the cereal box. Mentallos. You know what we need right now? Is a man. To eat the chief's beard hair and try <laughs> beard hunter. And what's up with you? Bump's dead. Bump? The guy who screwed your wife? Ooh. You should be happy. I am. I need to see Clara. So you're gonna bail on us and go to some homewrecker's funeral? She's my daughter. Flit, take me to Salty Bumps. Don't talk to Flit. Flit. Uh -oh. Clara's at Bump's bar in Cyberstar. We are not your shuttle. <laughs> Nobody saved me. I bet we take this down a notch. Oh. No, no, no. Flit. <laughs> right, here we go. Where are we? The Sunshine State. Florida? Florida. Yeah, my hometown. <laughs> my state. What's wrong? She needs someone to lean on right now. She's a hero. Oh, oh boy. Is he? It's just nerves. His anxiety attack or a panic attack. Gets them. New experience mm. for Cliff. Repeat after me. Red leather, yellow leather. <laughs> Does that actually Red help? Leather, what? Why? <laughs> I don't think that'll help, Cliff. Like All the way up through your diaphragm. Ah. He doesn't have a diaphragm. Oh. He's a robot. I'm good. I wonder what everybody will uh, think of a, a giant robot coming in the establishment. Hey, Metallica. Huh. You all friends of Bob's? Uh, okay. Wasn't what? Not the I reaction I expected. Tragic loss. <laughs> you mind? Mind what? Rita. Personal oh. space, buddy. He used a heliarch or a mig. Survey says you are not from around here. Flirting with her? <laughs> Name's Big D. Uh, Big D is, I think, flirting with Rita. Gertrude Cramp. Huh? Uh, but most people call me Gertie. Hello, Gertie. You and the uh, tea kettle there and item? Uh oh. Heavens no. An old friend of the family. Well, in that case, maybe you'd like to split a basket of chicken with me. Mm -hmm. I'd be delighted, Big D. Sure ain't. Except the free food. <laughs> Got it. Ooh. What are you doing, uh, Victor? So he's not fully cyborg. Or going to be cyborg. That's his fear. No. Oh, that's no, not no. good. No. Yo, I just found out that Flex Mentallo has a wife named Dolores. She's old as fuck, but she's still alive. Hello? Hello, what? Look, just go meet her. You don't need my permission. Listen, Vic Wad, you're the <laughs> genius who got a talking street to tell us that Flex is the key to finding the chief. I need your help, Vic. All right. Teamwork. Okay, uh... Just, just give me a minute. Then I must have told him a thousand times. If he's going looking for Francis, I will go with him. But did he call? No. Who's Francis? Who's Francis' his girlfriend. No. Francis is the name of the gator when they're Oh, up gator, so okay. Is. She's a legend. Hmm, legend. Most gator hunters, now they see Francis coming, they gonna skedaddle. Mm. But not old Boone. He just rushed right into danger. And straight into my wife's crotch. <laughs> you know Boone, I mean, he's get a wild hair and not think things through and end up doing Probably something drunk. Stupid. <laughs> yeah, like screwing someone else's wife. <laughs> let it go, let again. it go. Uh-oh. The daughter? Cliff's daughter? Let me play the whole thing out. Oh, all right. Okay, look, all I'm saying is that anybody could get loaded and write the first thing that comes to mind. This one is different. This one is different. A place where um, gay men can be comfortable with themselves. 
Guys, this is the Larry I was telling you about. Hey. Down below, you know, he's take. Who cares? Hmm. It's a free country. I mean, look at him. Okay, can we go? <laughs> he's uncomfortable. Just enjoy yourself. Get a drink. He's not comfortable with himself okay. yet. He hasn't fully accepted himself as a gay man. What the hell, pal? Change it back to the motel. We're trying to work together here, right? This isn't what I want. Change it back now. Oh! We need to scarf all those, uh, all that down? Oh, oh, oh. Uh -oh. Everybody shut the fuck up so Claire can say something! I don't know if I... Oh, come on, get on up there, hon. Helping up her daughter, his daughter. Thanks. And kind gesture. You a friend of Bump's? Yeah. Y'all know Bump took me in after the accident. He, he taught me the important things, like how to tie a cherry stem knot with my tongue. Oh, now <laughs> Cliff's hearing all the good things about the Bump. The ball. From... When I turned 18, we made it official. I had gotten this little inheritance when my birth parents died, and part of that was this gold watch. It meant a lot to me. But what meant more to me was this man who had cared for me and asked for nothing in return. That gold watch was the most valuable thing I owned, and I wanted him to have it, so I had it inscribed, To Dad, You're My Hero. It was out there just carpe fucking damning when he went into the belly of a gator and took that damn watch with him. Oh. So here's to the good things that make no sense. Go see the bump. Here's to my dad. He'll always be my hero. A good man. Didn't you hear what she said? Bump was her hero? Mm -hmm. Of course he was. He raised her. It's not a competition, Cliff. Are you crazy? He took in an orphan girl. Francis. Oh, he's getting the watch. The watch that's in Francis' stomach, the gator. Ho, 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 ho. John is allowing him to be free, but he, he doesn't want to be free yet. I know, I know. I should be okay with all this. There's no privacy here. Even though it is like a, considered a gay bar, this is, it isn't private uh, enough for him. Because, because even in this dream, or whatever the hell this is, you're still worried about what other people think. Mm. No, no, no. Dealing with his own issues. Yes, you are. You've got to let go, Larry. That's his problem. He doesn't want to let go. You stayed the same. Hiding out in the back of pickup trucks, holding He's up. He's holding on to his issues. You want a chance? Take one. Take, Take the leap. Take the risk. John. 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 Oh, he's back. What is going on? What's happening? Why did John say he didn't want to spend his last days like this? What, what chance am I supposed to take? Come on, pal. Help me out. What's he looking for? Oh. Spelling out something. The post-it notes. What does that say? Eerie. Eerie. Erie, Pennsylvania. It's glowing. His chest is glowing, so that means he's got on the right track. Unlike you, I'm not running away anymore. I'm trying to face my fears and remember who I was before I oh. was Rita Farr. Gertrude is my real name. All right. Well, then, real I name. I want to be Clara's <laughs> dad again. That's who I was before I became this tool shed. Why don't you just buy a new watch? What is so special about that watch? Because it's my fucking watch, okay? Sentimental that value. That watch means something to her. So if I He's getting it for her because it means here, so much to her. I still care about her. And God damn it, that's what I'm going to do. What am I supposed to do while you wade into the heart of darkness? Stand hmm. on the shore? Wait to be eaten alive by some sexy horde? I don't care. <laughs> <sighs> I'm just going to fall on the boat behind a uh, cliff. And she is. <laughs> Hello. Can I help you? I thought the reaction I, I was expecting either. <laughs> the military. Captain Larry Trainer. Oh, she knows him. I can't believe it. The bandages. Ah, okay. I was yeah, wondering. <laughs> I, 
just in the neighborhood, and I wondered if he... Of course. Come in. I guess she's been expecting him all these years. He's been drifting in and out. And your ears must have been burning because he keeps saying your name. Mm, he's lived his life. Got married. Bare it looks like it. You son of a bitch. <laughs> I can't believe you came. Hey. I gotta be honest with you. This stage in my life, I'm too old to ask how. <laughs> it's so romantic in here amongst the diapers and decongestant, isn't it? <laughs> Let's go to the porch. It was selfish of me to bring my crap into our fantasy. I'm sorry. Are you kidding? I'm here because of what you said. I'm very glad you came. Larry Trainer. No regrets with him. Unlike uh, Tr Larry. Talk to me. Okay, look. I'm all jacked up. Meaning? Have you ever felt like there's something inside of you that could do major damage if you don't take control? I yes. I all the fucking <laughs> time. The difference is I legitimately have no control. Why not just suck it up and call your dad? The painting. Dude, I saw that painting when I was inside a donkey. Hmm. It's mind fuckery vomit art from the fetid mind of Mr. Nobody, dude. I mean, consider the source. That's not good. Hey! Leave her alone! Don't you walk away from me! Come here! Wait, 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 wait. This could be a trap. Hello, young man. Uh -huh. Oh, here we go. You must be Dolores. Look at my elbow. Oh, it's a trap. Yep. Keep your hands off her! Look at my elbow. It was a distraction. This motherfucker. <laughs> There's a bureau, normalcy. Where's Vic? Did you see that? Uh oh, Vic's gone. Vic! They took him. Francis! Paddle through this stretch of swamp three. How long are they gonna and look? How long is Clifton is gonna look? It's starting to get dark soon. Francis! Where the fuck are you? Oh, what the fuck do you want? Ah! He's having a tantrum or a freak out. <laughs> They shut down a sense? Are you okay? Obviously Cliff. not. Oh my god, you fried your brain, you <laughs> stupid idiot. How are we gonna get you out of here now? Cliff! I'm oh. here. That's gone. <laughs> they come to a senses, I guess. Realize it was just are some crazy adventure. It was out, it was out of his mind. Uh-oh. Is it Francis? Hey! Oh! There's for Oh! oh. It's... <laughs> okay! There's been no one special in your life for 60 years? Come on! You never got open. I never got close to anyone. You never let anyone uh, come close. She died of cancer in 89. And the boys? Why well, put this on them? He never um, got into contact with his sons, his two sons. Is, I haven't really lived much. I got over you. Eventually. You should too. Encouraging to live a, live a full life. You really haven't fucked anyone <laughs> since JFK. My God, Larry. <laughs> He's actually laughing. There's something inside me. Hmm. I wouldn't say we're friends, but there's definitely a connection there. Did you sleep? Oh, there's sunset. Finally got the sunset he wanted, or... He passed away. He passed away in peace. They both got the closure they needed. Larry, your closure was more meaning a more meaningful closure for the both of them.
saying goodbye to his true love. Pretty thankful for uh, the entity. Years ago and getting him closure, finally. Possibly accepting who he truly is. Is it uh, going to tell her? Oh, he left? Oh, man. Oh! The watch. He got it back. Dude, Dad, you're my hero. Aww. <laughs> he risked his life at, to get back for for that meaningful. That meant much to much to her than to him. Hello, Victor. Uh oh, Darren Jones. He's back. That I douche. Enjoyed our meeting on Danny the Street, but I thought this time we'd get to welcome to the ant farm. Ooh, that's not good. Ooh, okay. Great episode 11 of uh, DC's Doom Patrol, Francis Patrol, and I got the answer that Francis uh, isn't a person, is actually a gator that actually uh, unfortunately ate um, uh, Cliff's daughter's adopted father. And this whole episode was like facing um, uh, facing uh, a possible future and, po and facing your past. Um, uh, ex um, not a, either, either not accepting the, the future or not accepting um, the, the ramifications of your actions when it comes to, um, uh, what, uh, what Victor is uh, facing in shutting down the system where he could potentially become a full-blown, um, uh, cyborg, which is what he fears the most. And, and since he is in, uh, he's sort of at, at a kinship with, um, uh, with, uh, with, Jane, as she is trying to not have um, uh, become a full-blown psychotic uh, individual, having her um, personalities take over, and that's what she fears the most, that she'll be lost within her own mind and someone that will take over. And that's, uh, she doesn't want to be out of control. She wants to be in control of her own mind. And, um, and then there's... Um, Rita, who, ex who accepted who she was, um, uh, Gertrude, um, uh, and uh, not and uh, and uh, and accepting the 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 person before uh, she became Rita Farr, the the uh, the movie star, and then and then Cliff, who had this all this anger and pent up aggression against Bump, who uh, after. Um, uh, uh, learning that uh, he was eaten by the gator, went to the actual um, uh, business in Florida where uh, his daughter works at and found out that actually Bump was a good man. And after learning that and finding out that his watch, um, his daughter gave uh, Bump the, well, gave his father, adopted father Bump the watch that, that, uh, that, was, that was his, he um he uh, made it his mission to go after that watch in order to get it back for him, and he did, and it was just a heartfelt uh, moment knowing that um she did he did that for her, um uh, in order to get that uh, 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 a piece of uh, jewelry a watch that um, has some meaning to it for his daughter because. It meant something to her. It represented a, the love of a father, adopted father, and so a father, um, the father of Cliff, got it for her. So yeah, and um, Larry was able to uh, finally um, find closure with uh, the man he loved, uh, John Bowers, and the reaction of the nurse thought it was going to be uh, basic uh, shock and surprise, horror possibly, but. Um, after um, what uh, after what uh, she uh, he saw as Larry standing there with all the bandages, she knew him. After speaking, after having all those conversations with uh, John, and that the conversation with John between both him and um, and Larry, it 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 gave him a sense of peace. Both of them accepting, possibly having um, Larry accepting who he truly is 
a gay man who is who uh, happens who happens to have an alien entity within him who um, provided assistance in, in tracking down or helping him find closure and he thanked him for that and um, and uh, and John Bowers uh, basically lived a life he was able to move on and lived a life where he lived life to the fullest and without and although he uh, was heartbroken he moved on and um, which unlike um, Larry he didn't move on and um, and and uh, John helped him help uh, Larry see that in order to move on you have to let go of the past and and uh, he did I think for the most part he did and and uh, and then John Bowers uh, basically unfortunately died peacefully and um, that was his closure, and um, and and uh, and when it comes to uh, the series continuing on with episode number twelve, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing a resolution. And if if um, there is a relationship um, uh, going on between uh, Cliff and his daughter, um, and if it, how that will be worked out. And if Cliff will be able to move on um, and be fully accepting of himself, and what's with, and how is uh, um, Victor getting out, getting out of that? Uh, quite a predicament as he's been um, uh, has been um, uh, taken by the uh, by the um, Bureau of Normalcy, and uh, so it's going to be interesting to say the least, knowing. That everything is going to converge on the Bureau of Normalcy. So, uh, yeah, um, Victor needs help, and his family is going to come get him. Hopefully, in any case, I hope you enjoyed my reaction to episode number eleven, Francis Patrol, and um, and if you enjoyed my reaction to this or any of my past reactions in my in my intersective channel, or my YG Anime channel for all things anime, link is right up there. Check that out. Help support that channel. And like I said, if you enjoyed either content for your channel, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell in order to be notified of any future videos being posted on your channel. And when it comes to my full-length reaction of this episode, Francis Patrol, they posted on my Patreon, and that link along with my social media links posted underneath this video in the description section. And with that said, um, tip my hat to you, may the force be with you. Until next time, for episode number 12 of the HBO Max series, 2 Patrol. Alright? Later.